Hey what's up this is Steve from Drone Buyers Club and today we're just quickly having a look at the Tello drone doing a kind of first impressions of it. Um, so the nearest thing you can get this is obviously a um, not fully DJI by name but it's a DJI collaboration and it's technically the cheapest DJI drone that you can buy right now. Um, so just quickly looking at the spark next to it so the Spark is probably one of my favourite drones for, you know, just ease of use, accessibility. You can just throw it in a bag, you can use it with the app. It's nice to have the controller as well with it. The camera on it's great. I mean, for most of the stuff that I like to do, HD video for me is absolutely fine. Um, so I really think that's great. And then the Tello, obviously, this sits at about probably a quarter of the price of the Spark. Um, in terms of size, um, it's got the prop guards on which are removable, but with the prop guards off, I mean, if you took the props off, it would be smaller than the Spark, but it kind of, then you've got to take them off, bag them up and put them back on. It kind of defeats the object really of it. I think, you know, it's not that much bigger than the Spark with the prop guards and the props on. I would just keep it like that and kind of throw it in a bag. Um, I think it's quite decent really like portability wise I think that's great um, and like I say you can take these off if you want if you don't want them and the props come off easy enough you can literally just pull them off and add them back on um, in terms of like the camera and stuff it's uh, you can see that obviously this is just sort of a pinhole camera that is not on a gimbal so this is electronic image stabilization whereas the spark uses a two axis gimbal um, it's obviously not trying to compete with the Spark. The Spark is, you know, does what it does very well. It's a good HD, you know, good HD aerial video drone really. The the Tello is more aimed at kind of being a little selfie drone. Uh, it's got a couple of cool things where you can like do coding for it and you can, um, you can make little programs that will make it do certain flight patterns and stuff. So it's more of a kind of introductory drone for people to buy. I mean, for a hundred hundred pounds, hundred dollars, it's like I think it's a decent bit of kit. Really, it's like the five megapixel camera. I was a little bit kind of dubious about thinking it's not going to be that great, but actually, some of the pictures that you get from it are really good, and the some of the features on it are really nice as well. These vision sensors are really good. Some of the flight modes are really cool. It's like you know, for the money, it's it's actually a really really fun drone to fly. It, it goes up to about 17 miles an hour which is pretty decent and yeah it's just a lot of fun really it's got a lot of dif different aspects to it you can shoot a bit of video at 720 uh, you can shoot photos you can sort of fly it about quite fast and um, yeah it's just got some nice flight modes so overall I think it's um, I think it's a good buy really for a hundred pounds I don't think um, I don't think there's really that much against it it's still in one piece after a good few flights. It's um yeah, I think it's a good good entry level drone and you can kind of build up from there. Sort of going in and buying like a four K drone straight away, you know, you can get into a bit of trouble like that, kind of it's easy to break things and make mistakes. So I think it's a good good little entry level drone. If, uh, if you want to see more about the Tello or any other drones, be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.